The New York State Public High School Athletic Association, or NISFA, just announced the creation of a girls' flag football pilot program scheduled to begin competition this spring. It's a partnership with the Bills, Giants, Jets, 48 member schools across six sections of New York State were provided funds by these three NFL teams and Nike to support schools starting the programs this April. Joining us now to talk more about it, NISFA Executive Director, Dr. Robert Zayas. Dr. Zayas, good to see you again. Thanks for being with us. Good to see you. Thank you for having me on. Uh, let's start here. How did this pilot program even get started? I mean, who came to who with the idea? We were approached by the NFL teams, the Bills, the Giants, and the Jets recently about starting a pilot program and one of our major focuses as a state association is to increase participation for student athletes so this falls right in line with that goal you mentioned the three nfl teams there and nike uh putting in money into this uh how much how important is their funding and maybe more their their general support of this well, their support is much more important than the funding that's being provided but we do want to recognize nike because Nike is contributing $100,000 of product credit mm. to be able to start this pilot program. And that's important because schools were approached about getting involved with this pilot program after their budgets were already approved. So that product credit will go a long way to helping these schools start their programs throughout the entire state. Um, as we mentioned, 48 teams, I think the closest to us here in Syracuse are going to be Ithaca, Shenango Valley, Norwich. Um, why no Section 3 teams right now? And I understand it's a pilot program, so pilot programs don't always include everybody, but uh, why no Section 3 teams right now? Yeah, exactly for the reason you just mentioned. It's it's a pilot program. Each NFL team has a specific geographic area that they're targeting, and that's the reason why we see pockets of the state that are being um, focused and targeted right now to start a program, but that's more for the funding piece from Nike. Really, we want to encourage all of our schools, if there's interest, we will help them get a program started. It's just the funding wouldn't come along with that participation during this spring's um, season. Gotcha. Um, what's the basic plan here for the pilot program? When does it start? How many games will they play? When does it finish? What does the, the, the season, I guess, look like? Yeah, it's interesting because we've never had a girls flag right. football season before. So it's exciting. It's exciting to be able to afford these participation opportunities to these student athletes. Each team is going to play between six and eight games. Mm. And the season will start probably in late April, early May. And they'll have the opportunity to go ahead and have a season. And then as the the program and more schools get involved, then we'll obviously hopefully be able to afford more games and more opportunities for students to participate in. Um, without going too deep into all the rules, I mean, what's it going to look like? Would this be 11 on 11? Is it 7 on 7, which I think is more typical for, um, you know, flag football style? Um, let's start with those kinds of rules things for there. Yeah, first and foremost, it's going to be 7-on-7, seven seven, okay. and the NFL is actually providing us with modified rules for us to abide by. Mm. So we're really relying upon the NFL and their leadership and expertise when it comes to girls' flag football. And I think it's just going to be a great partnership for us to um, really help grow w along with the NFL and, uh, and th schools throughout the state. Um, what happens um, after this uh, first season? Where can things go from here? What would be the next logical steps? Well, I'm excited because I really see that this is going to be um, a program that has an awful lot of momentum. Just mm -hmm. recently, in the last couple of weeks, we've had a number of schools reach out and express interest in getting involved on top of the schools that are already involved mm -hmm. in the pilot program. So assuming the pilot program goes well this spring, all that we need is four of our 11 geographic sections to express interest and have at least four schools participating in each section. With that criteria, then that gives us the ability as at the state association to create a sport committee hmm. and then start working towards potentially having a state championship one day here in the great state of New York. Wow, seems like you're off to a run and start already with the 48 teams. Um, overall, what, what would you say the opportunities this provides for girls in schools uh, across New York? Well, we all know that when kids are involved in high school athletic programs, they get better grades. Mm -hmm. They attend school at a greater rate. They have less discipline issues when compared to their non-participating classmates and they also have a sense of belonging an immediate sense of belonging which is really important for kids especially considering what students have went through over the course of the last two years so we see this as just an incredible opportunity to get students involved in their school 
and in their community and representing their school. For many students, they may not have had an opportunity to do that before through an interscholastic sport participation Dr. opportunity. Robert, Dr. Robert Zayas, he is the executor, executive director of NISO. We were talking about a, a girls flag football pilot program starting this spring. Dr. Zayas, thanks for joining us. We'll check back in with you maybe later in the spring here and see how everything's going. Thank you very much. Appreciate the promotion of this great program.